All right. Uh, out that uh, there were aliens, and this time we're gonna bring the fight to said aliens. All of my ships are ready to go. Ish. Kind of wish I brought bought some extra drones, but okay. All right. Oh, it is just holding down J, not Shift J. All right. I guess that's my fault for not really reading it carefully enough. Deploy everything, deploy everything. Like, my ship really cannot contribute to the battle, like, at all. It does seem look like we are losing. Howie. Yep. Doesn't look like we're losing too badly. My ship's dead in the water, but you know. Victory! Please stop shooting at the rest of them. Didn't you? Yeah, that sucks, but that's fine. Normally, if there were ships that were left alive on this engagement, we would be able to, you know, steal from them, but it's fine. Alright, let's, uh, let's land. Along with the remaining ships from the combined attack fleet, you land at the main spaceport on Maker. Other ships are carrying trained soldiers and equipment for PD for planetary defense, uh, serviced air missiles, ground-based laser turrets. So I assume these weapons are designed to work when uh, other ships have breached the atmosphere. Ready to fight the pugs on the ground. All pugs were here took off uh, and they were engaging us. Okay, some reason you do your best to defend the planet and to keep the pug from retaking it. Alright. Good luck to us. One, two, three, four, five, six, here we are. Christ. Actually. What is the mission here? Defend Maker. Alright. Wait, I have missiles. Why am I not using them? Uh, I will take the jump drive. And I will cap it. Give ourselves a little extra firepower to use in this situation. Damn it. Oh, that's okay. So we lost, it looks like we lost the two carriers. Uh, which sucks, but carriers were never really good ships in the first place, so no losses there. And we managed to recover another jump drive. That's always good. Okay, let's see. Freya meets you soon after you land. Large piece of alien machinery mounted on a flatbed truck for easy transportation. Wow. Somehow jamming or suppressing the hyperspace link. Accelerates the process of reopening the link. Uh, I mean, we're already playing with it, so let's not bother with number two. How soon until the link is open again? It takes several years. Wow. A stuck simpler. Redirects the planet's gravitation and gravity spaceward. Reflect the graviton beam back to where it came from. Mount the reflector on Hephaestus. Okay.
<laughs> Flying blind here. Yeah, I mean, if we fuck up, everyone dies. So, good odds. I like them. I guess we should give it a try. Travel to Hephaestus. Okay. Look at all the staying around I'm not gonna do. Yep. So yeah, they will follow you into, uh, you know, into your engagement. God damn it. Stop killing those ships, I need them. I guess that's kind of my fault for not telling them to, uh, restrict munition use. God damn it. Oh, fuck. Mega fuck, super fuck, ultra fuck. Yeah. God dang it. I got loaded onto this guy because he has the last ship in the fleet, which is completely stupid. Yeah, all right. You will be parked. That way, I can actually carry my, uh... Carry my reflector. It's kind of weird that population... Well, maybe not population, but... That it basically... Oh. Uh, there's way too much firepower anyway. That's too bad. Alright. Freya sent detailed instructions with the reflector for where it should be set up and how it should be adjusted. Alright. Handed over to a team of Syndicate engineers who seem quite capable and confident that it, they can make it work. So, the guys who are uh, dedicated to making this, to dedicated to working with this tech. Okay. Return to Maker as quickly as possible. Got it. This time with the entire might of my navy behind me. Okay then. Um... The kind of the, the biggest issue with uh, with doing things. With doing like a hyperdrive and, uh, well, hmm. Alright. We'll get rid of some of this cooling since it's not very useful to you. And then install the, uh, the hyperdrive. The jump drive. Yes, link restored. Let's go. Oh, right. I was confused as to why there were green dots on the map, but it was because uh, the jump drive gets there first. Alright, so what do we do next? If the transmitter on Shiver, we can bring the reflector back to Seoul and open the link. Alright, so to Shiver we go. Engage, engage. I will sit back and provide moral support. And of course, nobody survives. Uh, unfortunate, but hey. Soon enough, Freya finds a graviton wave emitter on Shiver and then sets it up so we can go to Earth. Uh, 
If you can reach Earth the Reflector before we are overrun by a pug here, we can open the hyperspace link. Will you survive it though? Fair number of ships on the ground. Yeah, okay. I mean, we're gonna be staying fighting for a little bit, I think. <laughs> yeah. I mean, whether if we can survive or not is kind of a foregone conclusion. Because the answer is yes. <laughs> like, the sheer difference in firepower is just far too much. Ah. Hold, 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 hold. <sighs> Park all. That is incredibly stupid why I have to do that. Nope. Yeah. Reflections, Syndicate 2, alright. Massive Pug Fleet just appeared in orbit, now on park everyone, and hope we don't die. While well, the fleet's gathering up. Dang. 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 Gimme, give gimme, give aww. Give, give, gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme. I'll take the jump drive, and then I will take you. Like, I recognize that it may be better to, you know, take the entire ship as is without stripping out the jump drives, but I cannot risk that little ship getting destroyed. So to that end, we need those, we need those jump drives. All right. Massive. Wow. But they are not more massive than my feet. Yeah. Kinda hoping we got to keep that one too, but whatever. This is a good day. Power of people as more and more navy ships come in for landing. The Navy Admirals have decided that there's no sense in delaying. We'll be attacking tomorrow. If their entire fleet opposes you, even the Navy may not be strong enough to defeat them. And they will fight according to our available power. Hmm. Everyone prepares for death in different ways. Words were packed, crowds spilling out the hallway, and loud music blasting. Why is there only one pub? Come on, guys. Capitalism. Chapel is equally full. Yep. Last battle. Yeah. As already as I'll ever be. I mean, I have 150 ships now, I think. Probably, maybe. If this is not enough, then nothing is enough. Qigong meditation. Mm -hmm. Alright. We go. And there's nothing here. It is entirely deserted. Some sort of anomaly outside the orbit of the outermost planet. Well... Taking the homeworld comes first, I think. To the pug authorities. <laughs> and the main pug spaceport is surprisingly empty. A group of pug children are gathered in a loose circle on one of the landing pads. They ignore your fleet overhead. I mean... There is no business in shooting children. The landry ship near the circle of pug children, they are bouncing a ball back and forth and studiously ignoring your presence. That's kind of weird. This is really... yeah. Let's try to join the game, because they're kids. 
passes right through your fingers. Freya reaches out to touch one of the children, and her hand too passes through them. Some sort of holographic projection. The navy ships are beginning to land and send out a crew to explore. We walk into the city, playing board games with black and white stones on hexagonal grid, huh? So, space chess. Or space checkers. Aside from the illusions, the city seems to be deserted. We look inside a house, uh, all doors unlocked, in the living space. Water fix, so water and electricity are running, but there's dust. Everything here is odd, yeah. City, holograms, all of it. Why do this? It's an ordinary human style electrical outlet. Human in an alien city. This building was made for the pugs, made for us. Reports begin coming in as Navy explores the rest of the planet. Cities are abandoned, signs that were never inhabited in the first place, huh? Their true population was less than a million. <laughs> you get back to what we were doing before they interrupted us, bringing the Syndicate to justice. Okay. This is a good, like, allowing the Syndicate to recover is probably the dumbest possible idea. Sounds good, what's your plan? Surrender extremists to us. If it's just my ship and yours leave, it won't attract too much attention. I mean, fair, but I have 150 ships. <laughs> and I also have three stranded escort pug ships. Question, does Delta Cabra only have a... Yeah, it does, okay. Well, hmm. I guess that brings up a good question, right? Like, if you were to... It is Akinar, right? Yeah. Like, if you were to strip a ship in essentially like a, either a dead system or a system with out an outfitter then effectively that ship that capture ship is dead for good right because there is no way for you to re-equip it with a hyperdrive hmm. all right we're all here Yeah, we're all here. Oh, I found out that the reason why the Korath Chaser wasn't taken up was because it's technically a fighter, not a... <sighs> the presence of a Navy cruiser in orbit seldom goes unnoticed. Yep. I've got a whole Navy fleet just a few jumps away from here who are itching to destroy something. Aren't you guys supposed to be, like, the good guys? Name me the name me the name me name me the terrorists, and then we will destroy the uh, we will destroy set terrorists. Huh? Why are you resigning? Put by some consultants, very intelligent and knowledgeable individuals. Built a powerful quantum computer. They call it the Oracle. It's fucking beta, isn't it? <laughs> Business is about taking risks. Uh, predict the future. Everything from supply chain management to stock trading to commodities markets. Well, I mean... It, isn't that kind of a feedback loop, though? Like, stock trading primarily depends on, you know, the... The market's perception of itself so the stronger the market is going the stronger the market feels like it's going alphas we're dealing with the alphas question yes and no is a very broad answer since like the pugs were reasonably human the alphas are reasonably human obviously the quarks may or may not be so 
I suppose he's drawing on the fact that Alistair didn't specifically say like they were Pug or they were, uh, they were Korg. I think Hai are specifically referred to as like space squirrels. So yeah, I, I can see that he would draw the conclusion that they are alphas. Yep. Okay. Fuck. All right. So was the information from the Oracle accurate? Very accurate. But then a month came when instead the Oracle's predictions were bleak. A massive recession was coming and an end to the golden age of the Republic. Alternated, altering the model in every way we could, change our production, our wages, if, dis if dissolving the syndicate would avert the recession. No! <laughs> power vacuums don't... Like, the only thing power vacuums cause is problems. Art of war to save the economy. That's pretty true to history. Okay, uh if we could disable the nukes, we would have done it already. Do you have an alternate do you have an an alternative to attacking them? Cargo hold. Wow. Send a ship in cloaked, have it uncloak long enough to draw their fire, and then the cloak to avoid the missiles. How many missiles can get spent before the main attack fleet arrives? <laughs> it sounds risky, but I'll do it. But more importantly, do I get to keep the cloaking device when I'm done? I don't see why not. Yep. Hephaestus. So, uh, fun fact. Captain Carling will not be uh, doing something as cowardly as that. Instead, he will be doing something as cowardly as a... Uh... Oh, are, are you going to bug me for... No, I'm just, probably just going to give it to me. He's going, to, he's going to instead be doing something as cowardly as... Getting the rest of his fleet to jump in. To essentially uh, jump in with him. <laughs> and have them tank the missiles. The losses will be catastrophic. Speaking of which, hello. Bye bye. Alright, so I need to install the cloaking device on my cargo ship. Like, the odds of my survival with this ship is not very, uh... It... Outlook is unpleasant. We'll figure something out. And now I can sell all the outfits that we picked up, because none of it actually- nope. Dang it. <laughs> Forgot that we had to keep the S970, but apparently that's nowhere to be found, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Why does everyone have 11 tons of platinum? That's weird. That's weird. Also, probably not correct either, so, okay. Well, we lost the Ice 970. That sucks. Yeah, that sucks. We'll have to pick up new ones eventually. Alright. So. Uh, we do have our cloaking. Yes, we have our cloaking. Cloaking costs energy. Like, a lot of energy. Or fuel, I think it was. So we now have three cruisers and three uh, carriers. Hey guys, you can't see me. 
Look, you can see me. Ow. Yes, the cans and I show up. Well, I tried. <laughs> I tried. Good thing I have other ships that are extremely powerful. And fleet tenders able to repair me. Though I am extremely curious as to the losses we're taking. Doesn't look too bad though. Alright, so oof. Nelson and Rodney are both dead. Uh, so that's two jump drives out, right? Uh, for an omen, Quicksilver, and eh, that's too bad. Perhaps as expected, the ships that jumped in first died. So, you know, no surprises there. Uh, I will take you as penance. Hey, don't shoot them. God damn it. Oh, of course. These shits don't listen to me. Irritating, but hey. So I have lost uh, basically all the jump drives I had captured. <laughs> Unfortunate, but hey. That's how things work sometimes. More Navy ships have been pouring into the systems, including his own cruiser. Scouring the surface of the planet, probably along with a blockade. All right, Parliament wants to speak to you. Okay, fair. Good start. It's been honored to fight. Yep, you too, sir. Bomber. That way we only have one of those left. All right. Well, that's too bad. One, two, three, four. Let's go home. Well, not really home, but... Whoops. Oh, God. Oh, I guess not the, no, all the ships are dead. I may be dead really quickly, though. Oh, God. Ow. No, I died. Too bad. This is basically like a dedicated capture ship. So it gets isolated, it doesn't live for very long. So, Rodney Repulse. Didn't they die though? Or were they only disabled? I guess they were only disabled. sell the protectors. <laughs> yes, sell the protectors. As well as purchase uh, some hyperdrives with the pug ships. Oh, God Almighty! 
Of course they fell in one place. Kill that, please. Thank you. The gut sucker. I just kill it. Kill it. All right. Uh, you get a standard hyperdrive. The Pug Zapper. Formidable beam weapons, then beam weapons, blah, 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 blah. Problem, it has 320 range. I mean, we can probably use it, right? Because we have we have enough ships that, that the short range doesn't matter too much. But again. All right. <laughs> on Earth, you return to something of a hero as well. Far different from the first time you were here on a diplomatic mission. A crowd of locals gather in the space world to watch your ship. The extremely spikes everywhere. Land, with the free worlds having been instrumental in defeating the aliens and absolved of any guilt in the terrorist attacks, as a hero rather than a criminal. Yay! Parliament has made a treaty in the free worlds, and they're essentially a tributary vassal. We worth 5 million credits, and to help to cover any of your expenses to fight along the aliens and to help you integrate back into civilian life. Even in normal gameplay, at this point, well, for me, anyway. Like, uh, if I were to play normally at this point, 5 million... I mean, it's not really a drop in the bucket, but it's also, like, less than what I have on hand. But this marks the end of... So, we are now officially at the end of the storyline. So, to that end, uh, we're gonna go... I'm gonna go dick around for 10 minutes and then uh, essentially call it and then we'll see what the other storyline is but understand that this is essentially the canon storyline so in other words I'll do some like weird shenanigans for the other one anyways so this wormhole is not here in normal gameplay this is a mod thing. I believe this is a uh, Ursa Polaris or whatever it's called. The importance of this mod thing is that um, we get the ability to essentially purchase all. Oh, I'll show you. The painter, on the other hand, is very useful. Uh, we will apply the, because it lets you change colors, obviously. We will apply the color of test dummies onto ourselves. I think we still need to land in order to do that. Yes, paint it. Uh, now our ships are a nice shade of cyan. So what happens after the after the uh, free world campaign is that your ships are stuck on that green color forever. So if you don't like it, too bad. <laughs> okay, now this is uh, the mod world where all ships that are in the game by default can be purchased. Now there the the requirements for purchasing those ships are still in existence, which is that. Uh, you know, you can't buy what you don't have licenses to. Of course, some of them you can buy even without a license because you're not expected to be able to buy them. For the purposes of what I'm doing, I will not purchase any ships. Instead, I will simply go to the outfitter. Again, same rules apply, right? Like, you have everything, 
some things are purchasable like the drac middle finger uh while others are um you know a bit spoilery but that's okay so again same rules apply i will only buy things that we have seen so far and i will only and or only purchase outfits that are um uh how do I how how do I put this? I will only purchase outfits that are reasonable to obtain, right? Like so, for example, it is entirely true that we can raid Korath Korath ships for jump drives, but I'm not going to purchase it here because, you know, that is a significant time-consuming effort. But all right. Um. Initially, I thought I might do that on air, but then I realized that, holy crap, I have a lot of ships, so maybe that's not the best idea. We have cap... Jesus Christ. So since, like, this is where we stop, right? More or less. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have a lot of ships. We have a lot of ships. We have a lot of ships. I won't buy anything I don't have. Uh, where are you? There you are. Haulers. Buy more barges. <laughs> Our ability to carry cargo has been severely uh, hampered by the fact that we're not carrying cargo, nor need to carry cargo. Because, you know, filthy rich. Alright. Well, we will at least... Uh, huh? Nani? Oh, they're not here yet. Okay. I'm here. Sometimes this uh, this system causes problems where ships enter cannot leave or cannot leave but or cannot enter at all. So we'll see what happens. Or we'll escort ships. Your personal ships do whatever the hell they want. Alright, so... Uh, turn them into missile boats. Don't need this. Uh, we need one of those. Don't really need the jammers. Whoops. So, through my experimentations, I found out something useful, which is that... You know how I keep saying that, like, massive firepower is useful? Well... Like, these ships, or these cargo ships, do allow massive firepower. <laughs> if you kit them correctly. Or... I guess that's not really true, right? If you kit them at all, you get massive firepower. So we'll get rid of one. Okay, here we go. That makes sense. So now we essentially have a massive bank of lasers. You know, because obviously 150 both. How many do we have? 146, so almost 150. Well, it's not counting the barges, we would have uh, 120 some ships, right? Okay. So many firebirds. So many firebirds. Uh, Marauder firebirds. Marauder leviathans. Falcons. Marauder Leviathans. Normal Leviathans. Uh, go at the end of the list. Bastion. 
I really don't get many Bastions, do I? See, Pug Zebruka. I don't know what I want to do with the Pug Zebrukas, to be honest. Like, on one hand, they're kind of, you know, really small. On the other hand, did we... I know we lost the Kaga, right? The the other Skyne that we had. Disown. <laughs> I know we lost the Kaga. But... Oh, a mule is a mule, right. But do we end up losing the other carrier as well? Because I know I I know I purchased a replacement. Hmm. Alright, well that's too bad. Farukon. Falcon. Be nice if there was some uh uh some essentially like picture based thing that you could look at to tell you that hey this is a marauder ship but you know fury what's a fury again ah right it's a it's a moving meat shield okay the pugs bounders Ravens. I don't think I have any other ravens, do I? No, I don't. Alright. Then let's put... Uh, we need to go get that chaser back. Put all you guys in the very end. Alright. Yeah. So, uh, does everybody have what they came here? Quantum keystones. Why can... Who's missing one? Me! <laughs> God damn it. Uh. All right, fine. Oh yeah, speaking of which. Now that I'm in a place where I can actually like go nut, go ham with my uh upgrades, I can actually do this. Okay. So, let's see. I need to be able to turn. These are other engines, obviously we're not touching them because that's unfair. I need to be able to turn and I need to be able to reasonably go forward. Uh, power wise, I don't really, I'm not really too interested in powering this ship because it doesn't have, like it doesn't, it shouldn't be getting into fights in the first place. So I'll get that and then a, uh, Coalition battery, because coalitions make the best batteries. I will allow myself the uh, these heat shunts, because let's be honest, they don't do much. <laughs> um, okay, that should be good enough. Let's pick up that quantum keystone while we're at it. I am sick and tired of getting chased around by missiles so we will get some bullfrogs and some pew pew yeah this thing's really underpowered and some terrible terrible weak shields 16 so this is 16 for 42 yeah it's better it's better like high high shields are just like Unequivocally better. So in the end, I'm left with a ship that has a little more off, a little more offense in exchange for a little less defense. But as we've seen, like having all that offense doesn't help us very much because we don't get into, we should not be getting into fights. Well, to that end, let's stock up on our defense 
I don't need the I don't really need the outfit scanner, do I? Yeah, I have a high diamond regenerator, and this is as much as we can get. Cool. All right. Get rid of anything that looks weird. battery so small so compact mm. high wheel haul cooling is bad it is bad sad bad so let's not bother with that Got another heat shunt we're out of we're basically out of capacity at this point so unfortunate but hey Stems the brakes. Oh, we can also buy more of these. Right. Okay, that's good then. I kind of want to get everybody a jump, or all these ships a jump drive just to make it match. But that's, that would be cheating. If you can't tell, the episode's already over. So <laughs> I don't think anybody watches up to this point. But you know, you're free to leave. You're free to leave. Should I get one of these? I feel like I should get one of these. Dun, 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 dun. How much does the ravine battery give me? Sixty for eighty-two k, eighteen for basically better in every in every conceivable concept <laughs> defense over offense right yeah okay <laughs> Uh, it's so hard to tell. Baffle met the nasty, so you must be Violation Corsair, and you are House of Mischief. You are Alaska. Okay, so these, uh, all these ships are, well. Is something? Right, they're all Marauder Leviathans, so what's the difference? Or are there different types of Marauder Leviathans? There probably are.
All right, then we will just strip. We'll just the. Uh... Why is there such a difference, though? So this guy's 80, 680, 680, probably the new ones, right? 680, 680, 680, 680, they're all 680. So why are some like smaller than the others? Confused. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. I guess it's because of the way the turrets were arranged. More bullfrogs. Uh, a little bit of heat. And a little bit of uh, repair. That's what we can do in this situation. All right. Large battery modules for everybody. So many lasers, so many lasers, so many lasers. Your forward facing guns are. This thing runs hot. There. <laughs> Let's give you some repair and jamming just because it's uh, cute and fancy. I'll have two of these. Okay. Now let's strip out all the guns here. Man, having access to large batteries really makes the idea of like what gives you power a bit of a non-brainer. <sighs> okay. Uh, this thing's fast as balls. Wow. 1,000 speed for what is essentially a cruiser. It's amazing. Ah, sure. We'll turn you into a dedicated... Uh, dedicated energy boat. Well, I guess it's not really dedicated if I have to mix it up with missiles, but, you know. It's a thought that counts. Are you hot? Kinda, but not 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 enough to matter. Let's trip out all the weapons for this. Oops. How do I equip you, I wonder? Well, first off, uh, torpedoes. Doesn't give me much room for it to do anything else, does it? Balls. Okay, fine. You can be a mixed... Mixed missile boat. Now, what about you guys? It turns you into... Um, well, I mean, I haven't gotten any more of them, so it doesn't matter. Alright, three of those. Three of those. 
Now you're oddly beefy. Uh, power wise, you don't need that much power, so just a small battery will do. We're gonna be too small battery. Heat could be a little, you could be a little less hot. It gives you enough room to fit that extra beam turret to make you even more dangerous and more shields. Incredible amounts of shields. Wow, this this thing regenerates ten percent of its shields. All right, so I have exactly two firebird, two marauder firebirds. No bigs. Ah, huh, we have one of those. That's nice. So well, technically, we if we if I didn't make a mistake selling the other ones to uh, to the ether, we do have the two necessary for that uh, for the quest that I was talking about, which we haven't seen yet. I will um, I'll just purchase it here and you know act like I didn't make a mistake. Okay, you are you are dedicated to charging the enemy with everything you have. And not much else. But honestly, you already have more shields than like most other ships your age, so you know. It's all good. Now my massive fleet of firebirds. Not enough. Uh, I don't think I want them to be missile boats. They're kind of slow. Oops. Yes, yes, yes. Small shield module. Don't need that. Uh, I don't need anything that isn't a geo reactor. Is the geo reactor no i was about to say is it, is it actually not keeping up with natural usage that seems weird um this does however mean that let's get rid of the turrets we are a little strapped for room though okay we'll we'll just use these as as a like Standard laser boats, then. It's kind of hot. Alright, cool. You guys. They are already kind of like really impressive. So there's not much need for me to, also there's not much room for me to modify them any further. What kind of shields do you have? Nothing, you have just innate 360 shielding. But only 4,000 though. Hmm. All right, I think that's enough for doing this to kind of things on air. All right, so a long and grueling journey, completed nuke twice. Terry Carling has finally uh, become the savior of mankind. I guess he has spent one point three billion dollars of his uh, nest egg. That's kind of impressive. All right, so uh, save.
I believe this was Route 1, right? Because Route 2 is the other one. So uh, following this, we'll be going back and doing Route 2 to see how that plays out. Until then, later.